How to set up Contact Form 7 in WordPress. In this video, we're going to be talking about Contact Form 7 and how you're going to be easily able to set this up for yourself and create the greatest forms in the easiest and most simplest way. And we're going to be talking about it in great depth and detail. So please make sure to watch this video till the end to get the full idea and concept of how we're going to do this for ourselves. Now, to start things off, what you are going to be doing is you're going to go over to your WordPress and you're going to make sure you have at least the creator plan because without the creator plan, this will not work for you. So once we get the creator plan for ourselves, what we're going to want to do from there is we are going to go straight over to our plugins section. Okay. So once we come over to our plugins, what happens from there is you can search for the plugin that you require. So in my case, we are going to go with contact form seven. Okay. You're going to write that in. And once you write that in here, you have contact form seven. Now you're going to click on it. And once you click on it here, it says just another contact form plugin, simple, but flexible. And the best part about it is that it's totally free. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on install and activate. And as you can see, it starts installing your plugins. So once your plugins are installed and fully activated, what happens from there is you can go over to your WordPress dashboard and start working with this. Now, the best part about contact form is that it's integrated with items like Elementor or YITH editor. And what it does in those cases is that it allows you to simply add the contact forms that you've created into your repertoire or into your main website. Okay. So once you've added the plugin for your contact form, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to your installed plugins and you're going to make sure to activate it because most of the times plugins like these don't get activated directly. So once it's activated, what you're going to do from there is you're going to go over to its settings and you're going to make sure to set around the different field settings that you can for yourself. So here we are in the contact form section. And in the contact form section, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new form for ourselves. So to create a new form, what you're going to do is you're going to click on add new. And now that we click on add new, it loads things in. So here we have our form. It says you can edit the form template here. Okay. So you can add in your name. Okay. So I'm going to add in my name uh, right here. Once you add in your name, what happens from there? is you get your email subject, etc. So you can write in all these things as you go on. And once you've done that, you're going to click on save. And this basically saves the settings for your form that you need. Okay. This is basically your form. Now, once you've saved the settings for your form, you can go over to your mail section and you can actually add different templates for it. So you can mail it to the, you know, certain email uh, that you can set in this section. So you can set a to, you can set it from, you can also set the subject and additional headers, body and file attachments according to it. Then moving on, you have messages where you can thank them for the messages you do. You have sent, you have all these sender messages and whatnot. And then you also have some additional settings that you can add customization code snippets to. Okay. So pretty, pretty straightforward and pretty easy stuff to get your head around. And once you've gone with all of that, you're going to click on save and it says that the contact form is now created. Okay. You can also set a name for this contact form, but in my case, the name is already set and we are good to go. Now you have edited your template and you have created a form. So now once you've created a form, you can also go into your forms integrations. So in the form integration section, you can integrate with different items like Bravo, Akismet, Recapture, Stripe, and Constant Contact. Now, basically, these integrations allow you to basically go ahead and set up your payments accordingly. Okay, so different things can be used for different means. So you can do email marketing through your forms. You can protect your forms from spam. Again, reCAPTCHA is also something you can protect your forms from. If you want to set up payments for your form, you can set up Stripe and then you have constant contact for email marketing. Now, once your contact forms are set it in and good to go, you can go over to this section and here we have this form, right? Now, if you click onto this form, this form is going to load up for you. 
and you can obviously duplicate it, save its different settings. You can also add different customizations like CSS code snippets in this section if you want to. But it's pretty straightforward and pretty simple to add. Now the best part about this is that you can actually add it into your page using the Elementor editor you have. So you can actually create a whole different page for your forms. So the, the form page that you create is going to work according to the settings you set for it. So you can add different slider revolutions for these forms that you have, okay? And these forms obviously are contact forms. So contact forms will work accordingly to your regimen. So if you come over to Elementor and you scroll down, now here, once you've scrolled down, you have different widgets like uh, WordPress, code, site, etc. So in the case that you want to add forms, you can simply come over to the WordPress section where it allows you to add these contact form sevens in the easiest and most simplest way. You can also search for the contact widgets that you want. So if you write contact, it's going to appear over here. Now, in the case that it doesn't appear over here, do make now, in the case that it doesn't appear over here, you're going to make sure to add the contact form widget in this section. OK, and you're going to do that by turning on your data sharing for your Elementor. So you're going to come over to the settings of Elementor. And once you come to the settings of Elementor, what you're going to do from there is you're going to make sure that this usage data sharing is on. And once you do that, you're going to come back to your contact form section. So here's our contact form. We're going to open this up and once any form that you have is created, like let's say this one, every form is going to have this set URL. So basically this is the short code that it gives us. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy the short code and paste it into a text widget content. Okay. So once we have this form ready and set up for us from here, what you can simply do is you're going to go over back to your Elementor, go over to home. Once you go over to home, you're going to go into the editorials of creating a page. So we're going to click on create a page. And once you click on that, it's going to load in the main page editor. So let me just wait for this to load up. And once this loads up, you're going to basically add a short code intact CSS. OK, and once you add that short code, it should appear for you. So in the widget section, you're going to go ahead and bring in the short code section into your editor. So once the short code section is in, you're going to enter your short code like that. And now that you've entered your short code there, you can see your form is up and running and it's right in front of you. And you can actually actively go ahead and, you know, edit this form accordingly for yourself if you want to. So if we want to edit this form, I'm going to come here. OK, I'm going to go over to contact. And once you go over to contact forms, you can come over to the contact form one. OK, and once you come to contact form one over here, you can edit it individually. OK, so obviously right now we have, um, you know, your name, your email, etc. But you can add different individualities in this. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and add John Leahy. OK. Once you add that, you can go ahead and set this for yourself as well, the subject. So let's say uh, write your thoughts, you know, something like that, etc. And once you do that, you're going to click on save. And once you click on save, this basically saves the block code for you. You're going to go ahead and copy the block code for yourself. And once you copy the short block code, what you're going to want to do, come over back to this widget. I'm going to come here and I'm going to go ahead and uh, add the form that we've added. And look at that. John Leahy, your email, write your thoughts, your message, etc. So that is how you can, you know, actively manipulate and edit the form as well for yourself. So that's the main idea about how you're going to be editing different contact forms for yourself and how you're going to set up contact form seven in WordPress in the easiest way. But yeah, that's pretty much about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching, please do make sure to drop down a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be seeing all of you in the very next video. So have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.